the corner. Not only does he try, he succeeds. Succeed. Tyrone <laughs> Davis. With the touchdown, grab for the Jets. Nick Lowry with the point after. It's a little bit more respectable now for Rich Kotite's Jets, but they still trail by 14 points with 5.20 remaining. Two minutes left to go as you take a look at Irving Fryer, very actively involved in those 17 points in the second quarter. Four for 95 yards, four catches that is for Irving Fryer. The Eagles with 30 points on the board tonight, Jaws. And as you saw the, the Cowboys get whooped up pretty good the other night, let's put it in perspective. How good are these Eagles, as you project them, relative to the Cowboys? Well, I don't want to take any luster off this 30-16 uh, to 16 lead right now, maybe 30-16 win. But the Eagles have not played a very good physical game. The turnover has been very important, but I believe when you play in the NFC East, you've got to be more physical. You've got to dominate the line of scrimmage. They haven't done that tonight. But now we'll take a look at the Dallas Cowboys, who just got blown away by the Kansas City Chiefs on Monday night. And I had a chance to talk to uh, Chiefs President and CEO and General Manager Carl Peterson on Tuesday. And he told me that he thought the Dallas Cowboys right now are not a very good football team. He thought that the Kansas City Chiefs dominated them physically at the line of scrimmage. And if you can do that to the Cowboys or any team in the NFL, you're going to have a real good shot at winning. The Eagles very highly thought of by a lot of people around the league. Of course, Ray Rhodes, the NFL's coach of the year last year, they overachieved at 10-6 and six and winning big in the playoffs against Detroit. The Eagles have made strides. They're a better team. They're deeper. But that doesn't necessarily mean they'll have a better record. Well, as, as we spoke you know, before the, the game started, our opening telecast, I think the offensive line is going to be critical. I think Steve Wallace has to be more physical. Uh, in fact, you know, Lester Holmes has got to be stronger than he was a week ago, although he played solid tonight. Richard Cooper, I think, you know, is going to be a solid guy. But this group of five has to play as one. Now, Mark Woodard still in there. The special teams MVP, the starting left outside linebacker for the Eagles coming into the start of the season, having a little trouble getting up. Hopefully it's nothing serious because Mark Woodard, given the opportunity by Ray Rhodes, has responded and played well. This is one of those situations you wonder what the heck is Mark Woodard doing in a football game with a 30 to, to 16 lead with a minute 30 to go. Well, maybe Don Tollison knows the answer to that question. Dolly? Well, I think the answer from Ray Rhodes' point of view, and we'll get an injury update from the training staff as soon as we can, is that he really feels his linebackers, the younger guys, have got to get a lot of repetition. Interesting what you said about the Cowboys, Ron. Rick, Ricky Waters told me up at Lehigh that they still have Nate Newton and Larry and those guys up front blocking for him, and that is still a big deal with Dallas guys. Well, you don't have Jay Novacek, and you got Michael Irvin out for five games. I think they're slipping a little bit there, Don. Well, you guys can argue it after we're <laughs> off the air, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and we will. <laughs> the pass incomplete intended for Wayne Morris. Rookie out of Hofstra. They're putting this kid in basically because they train in his neighborhood. Just a minute 25 remaining. Again, if you're watching on our flagship station, Fox Philadelphia, stay tuned for the 10 o'clock news. I believe Ray Rhodes after the game is going to talk about the lack of a running attack and how he's got to improve the running game. And I think, uh, you know, next week against the Newman Patriots, you're going to see a team that's really, really going to go after him with the running game. Foley hits Wayne Morris this time. And, of course, you know, they play the New England Patriots up at Foxborough in their next game, the third preseason game. And you know what kind of team Bill Parcells always plays. I don't care what division, I don't care what conference he's in. You know, Bill Parcells only knows how to play Smash Mouth football. That's right. And they will, have, they will have that kind of a test in their third preseason game. And the fourth preseason game is the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they, again, only know one way to play under Bill Cowher. That's get belly to belly, nose to nose, and let's see who wins. You can see that fourth and final game here on the Eagles Football Network next week. I believe it's on NBC. But I'm not supposed to tell you that anyway, can I? Should I draw? Should I no comment. No, no. <laughs> 31 seconds remaining. The clock ticking down. <laughs> Foley and the Jets trying to get on the board one more time. He throws it into the AstroTurf. Was that a band, Foley and the Jets? That was Benny and the Jets. Oh, okay. Boy, are we trying to fill some time, huh? Rich Kotite would like to get out of here <laughs> yeah, at this yes, very Yes, time. he would. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
The buses, I can hear the buses <laughs> roaring those engines right now. No showers, guys. Let's go back up to Long Island. Uh, Richie Stogie is not going to uh, taste very good tonight. Glenn Foley, 9 of 19, 109 yards, does have that touchdown. Of course, the interception as well as he tried to force one in. Third and one from the shotgun. He's got the first down, Reggie Cobb. Dances down to about the 10 and a half yard line. 15 seconds left. Jets trying to get on the board one more time. Kill the clock. Kills the clock with eight seconds remaining. You've done this before, huh? Yes. <laughs> give me a give me a little quick uh, look at the way number 74, Steve Wallace, played over at left tackle. Steve Wallace is an outstanding pass protector. I believe he's got to improve his run blocking. But looking at that whole offensive line, I think through two games they've shown their ability to protect the quarterback, which the Eagles gave up 48 sacks last year. I think they'll improve that this year. But as I said a moment ago, when you play in the NFC East, you've got to get after people with the running. And that means you've got to play more physical up front. They haven't shown they can do that. When you get right down to it, Joe, Wallace and Mayberry on the left side, incomplete to Morris. Raleigh McKenzie in the middle. Lester Holmes coming back from surgery. And Richard Cooper. I mean, there's a whole lot of new people on that Eagles offensive line. Your executive producer of Eagles football is George Cummings. Tonight's game produced by David Stern and directed by Ramona Young. Associate producer Tom Shredenshek. Associate director Ren Hendricks. Technical director Anthony Graves. Assistant engineering manager Bob Gerlach. And graphics... Howard Driv. Thank you all very much. As time winds down, it is over. The Eagles have won their first in the preseason as Ray Rhodes waves goodbye to the Jets and to you folks at home. The final score, 30-16, the Eagles over the Jets. We'll be back to wrap it up right after this. Stadium today, the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New England.